This is very rare and very special. So flying the airplanes today, I'll see if I can get this right, but I do know that we've got uh, 95 in the middle, haven't we? That's exactly it. Yeah. Pratt and Whitney, their slogan at the time, their marketing slogan was the dependable engine. And they've come right through to these days, Kenny, so they've got to be dependable. I did mention that to Doug yesterday, and he goes, yeah, it's the only airplane I've ever had an engine failure in, though, so I'm not sure how dependable, dependable they are. Yeah, there are very few Lockheed 12 A's flying anywhere in the world at all today, Ken, so it's, it's quite a treat for us to see this particular one flying today. And also the fact that the Tomorrow Aviation Museum has the Hudson as part of its collection. You can see the, um, the lineage here. Uh, a part on a Beach 18, and he, it looks similar to the Lockheed 12, and he fell in love with the whole idea and the whole concept. And then he started flying the Hudson here at the museum, and he really fell in love with Lockheed's. And when this Lockheed 12 uh, came up for sale, he just couldn't do without it. So he went out to Broken Hill, where he'd been there for a number of years, and he was able to acquire the airplane. Yeah, it might, the Lockheed might go back to the mid-1930s in its design, but it's uh, certainly... Made Fantastic class running from the, uh, the right now. Get your cameras ready. For the pitch and break. A little bit of trivia we were just talking about then. Amelia Earhart was in a Lockheed, but that was a Lockheed 10. Yes, the 10 was actually a slightly larger aircraft than the 12, uh, and she was uh, attempting that around the world flight, and um, unfortunately she went missing after departing from New Guinea, heading um, east across the Pacific. The Harvard and the Weirway look very similar. In the early days, and it was a North American aviation prototype, the NA-16 or the NA-13, were the two were the two examples. And then the Harvard, they built lots of them. The Weirway, they they didn't build as many. So the the Harvard benefited from the production evolution and was refined into a much nicer airplane, much nicer flying qualities. With the Weirway, with its limited production run. 